Greetings traders. I would like to give you an update for Wednesday and Thursday's trading inside the trading room. The trading room represents my system, market master, big trade and easy entry. And so this is being reflected here in the trading room and the trading room also reflects my system. Okay, so let's take a look at it. Let's go back onto the ES and we will take a look for Thursday, November 13th. November 13th, right there. You can see that the first signal is to go long. It goes all the way up. The second signal is to go long. It goes all the way up. The third signal is to go long. It goes all the way up. The fourth signal also goes long and goes all the way up. The fifth signal goes long and goes all the way up. The sixth signal goes long, goes all the way up. The seventh signal goes long, goes up a little bit up to the top there. Uh, the next signal only goes down a little tiny bit and then comes back up. So we can consider that one to be a loss. And then the next signal is a short. It goes all the way down. The next signal is a long. It goes all the way up. The next signal is a long. It goes all the way up. This is for the ES. Now, have you ever seen a system like that that is so accurate like that? No, you never have, and you never will. You, the only way you're going to ever see it is my system, because my system is a reflection of all markets being controlled by a computer program that nothing is really trading everything is being controlled in advance by a computer you can use this to your advantage because if you know what the computer is going to do before the computer does it you can take an entry long or short and profit from it this is what my system is representing right here profiting from the market by taking advantage of the computer program now this is the YM let's go take a look at it okay you can see see this move down right here this move down is the same as this move down here on the YM and then it turns around and goes back the other way it turns around and goes back the other way right this move up right here is the same move as this move up right here just like this pullback right here is the same as this pullback right here and this surge going forward and this surge for going forward are both the same and then this big green bar going up is the same as this green this big green bar going up we could zoom in a little bit this big green bar right here and then it pulls back a little bit pulls back a little bit and then it surges up again three bars surges up again three bars pulls back a little bit surges back up again pulls back a little bit surges back up again comes all the way over shoots down comes all the way over shoots down then it turns back around and goes back the other way then it turns back around and goes back the other way same charts gets choppy in here and then goes up gets choppy in here and then goes up the ES is supposed to represent 500 different stocks on the US stock exchange the YM is supposed which is the Dow is supposed to represent 30 stocks how could 500 stocks and 30 stocks equal the same exact chart at the same exact time? I can just tell you right now, there is no mathematical chance. It is absolutely 100% mathematically impossible. So what's happening? What's really going on? Well, what is really going on is that all of the markets all over the world, not just the USA markets, are all controlled in advance by a computer program. So is the Forex. All currency pairs in the world are all being controlled in advance by a computer program. So it's the same thing as it was on the ES for the YM. It's a long entry. It goes up. Actually, let's go start at the very beginning. It's a long entry. It goes up. Long entry goes up. Long entry goes up. Actually, this one is a little bit uh, different. Uh, this one, it only goes down just a little tiny bit and then goes back the other way. Therefore, this one could be considered a loss. 
This one is a long entry, goes up. This one is a long entry, goes up. This one is a long entry, goes all up to the top. This one, this one I believe is also technically a loss. And this one, it, it uh, is a short signal, it goes all the way down. This one is a long signal, goes all the way up. This one is a long signal, goes all the way up. Virtually identical to each other. All right. So let's go take a look at the 14th. Here's uh, Thursday, November 14th. Okay, Thursday, November 14th on both instruments. Take a look at them. They are identical again. Green bar, green bar. Shoot up, shoot up. Come down, come back up, shoot all the way down. Come down, come back up, shoot all the way down then come over and trade some and then shoot down come over and trade some shoot down same exact thing same exact bar and yet this is supposed to represent 500 stocks the the S&P 500 and this is supposed to represent 30 stocks the Dow and yet they both have the same chart same signals it's not mathematically possible. The wool is being pulled over everyone's eyes on planet Earth. All of the financial markets, stocks, bonds, forex, currencies, everything there is. Commodities, oil, gold, silver, wheat, corn, everything there is in this world is being controlled in advance by a computer program. And this is my trading room. You could come into this trading room and make nothing but money by using this system, my system that I discovered. So let's take a look at what it produced on Friday. Long entry went up to the top. Short entry went all the way down. Short entry, good down to here. Short entry, good all the way down. No entry there, no signal. Long entry, good all the way up actually only good up to here because this one came down below so this one's only good up to the top this one is a long entry only good for a little bit this one is a short entry only good f actually this one is good all the way down this one is a short entry good all the way down caught it in the room this one's a long entry good all the way back up this one is a long entry this one is not good well it's no yeah it's not good it's no good this one is no good all right let's take a look at uh, at uh, ym short entry good all the way down short entry good all the way down short entry good down to the bottom there just right here and then another short entry good all the way down and then no entry and then long entry good up to the top long entry only good for a little bit this entry is a short, it's good all the way down. This entry is a short, it's good all the way down. This entry is a long, it's good all the way up. This entry is a long, it's good all the way up. Okay, let's go over to oil. And let's go back to November 13th inside the room. The first signal, long signal. It's good all the way up to the top here. Next signal, there is no signal. Next signal is a short signal. It's good down to the bottom, not very far. Next signal is a short signal. Again, doesn't go very far. Next signal is a long signal. It's good all the way up. Next signal is a long signal. Good all the way up. Next signal is a long signal. Good all the way up. Next signal is a long signal. Only good for a little tiny bit. And then this next signal, short signal. Good all the way back down. Next signal, short signal. Only good for a little tiny bit. Next signal, long signal. Good all the way back up. So for oil, on this particular day, on the Wednesday, it was a bit choppy. And some of the signals didn't work. And so you wouldn't have had uh, a really great day on oil, except for this whole move right here. We caught this inside the room. Inside the trading room, we caught this huge move right here. All the way up, starting, starting way down here, all the way up. And a lot of people caught it. Okay, but let's go to uh, Thursday. This was a great day. First signal. First signal is not good. It's a loss. Second signal, good all the way down. Next signal, good all the way down. Next signal, good all the way down. 
Next signal, good all the way down. Next signal is, well, it's a long. But over here, this one gives a short. So you'd go back short. So you, you would have went long here and got back out here and went the other way. So it would have been a loss and you would have gotten back in. Signal goes short, signal to go short, signal to go short, goes all the way down to the bottom. Uh, and then we get a long signal followed by another long signal. And it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't go long or short. It just goes sideways for the rest of the day. So again, not a great day on oil on Thursday either, but still good winners. This, this big, huge move that came down right there, caught it. Caught this one again. We rode it all the way down. Okay. Now let's go to, we were trading AMD on Thursday, the stock. And we caught this move going all the way up. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, no, that's not true. Uh, we didn't trade it on Thursday. We traded it on Friday. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, we caught this move coming up. Uh, and then we got this one. This is a long signal. It's good all the way up. This one's a long signal. Good all the way up. This one is a long signal. Good all the way up. This one is a short signal. Only good down to there. And this next one's a long signal. Good all the way up. Long signal. Good all the way up. Long signal. Good all the way up. Short signal. It doesn't. It only good down to there. It doesn't go very far. This one is no signal. This one is a long signal, only good for a little tiny bit. This one is a short signal, only good for a little tiny bit. Kind of went sideways at the end of the day on AMD. But we got some good trades out of it from here and here and here, and it went up, got some good trades on it. And in fact, I called it when it was way down here to go up to 3840, and that was the target on AMD. So there you go. What you were looking at is the most powerful trading system in the world. And the reason for that, there's a very good reason for that, is because all financial markets, whether they be stocks or oil or the S&P 500 or the Dow or the Hang Seng or the Nikkei, Nikia, the Japanese stock market, Japanese index, or any other index or any stock in the world. You want to talk about Apple, Facebook, Twitter, Uber, Lyft, any and all stocks that there are, they are all being controlled in advance by a computer program. They are not really trading. Trust me, I know. I broke the code. And now I am teaching this to the public and have been teaching it for quite some time. And obviously there are people out there who do not want me to teach this information to people that this is extremely dangerous information to the system. Well, that may be true, but I am still going to reveal it. And the reason for that is because it is the right thing to do. Allow people to profit from it and allow people to wake up to it, to what is really going on, so that people can begin to wake up. People can start telling each other what is really going on. That the whole entire financial system is one big, gigantic, global scam. And the best news about it all is that you can profit from this scam. And that is what we are doing every day inside my trading room. Don't let anybody fool you otherwise. Everything that you are seeing is all real, nothing is made up, and it's all accurate, 100%. Come into the trading room, find out for yourself. Purchase my system of trading. You will be mind boggled by it and amazed. And my new courses teach it the right way so that there's no confusion. So by all means, get my courses, come into my trading room, start making money for yourself. Okay, I'm going to be trading in just a little while. It's Friday here, and uh, market's going to open in six hours or, or five hours. And uh, I'm going to get ready for the market. I'm going to uh, make sure I've got the system dialed in, and we're going to be ready for Friday's trading and make a bunch of more money on Friday. And I'm in the room 
directing everything. So come into the room if you're struggling in your trading. See you there.